Back in the 1880s, there was an old retired ship captain who lived out on a swampy peninsula that stuck out into the Patapsco River. 900 acres, this stretch of land, totally isolated. The captain's name was Fitzel, and he said he liked it there because it reminded him of being out at sea. Well, one day the old captain's solitude was interrupted. When a visitor came calling from out of the blue, he was a businessman from Pennsylvania, a guy by the name of Frederick Wood. And Mr. Wood made the captain an offer on the place, not the house, the whole peninsula. The captain accepted the offer, and no sooner was he gone than an industrial undertaking began there, the likes of which the world had never seen. It would be a state-of-the-art steel mill built on a scale unimaginable at the time. It was the beginning of a civilization unto itself. When they would dump the slag ladles over on Blast Furnace Road, the sky would light up orange like all of a sudden it was daytime. You know, we turned the gas all the way up. We didn't care about all the smoke that we put out or anything. I mean, it was just production. By 1958, Sparrows Point was the largest steel mill in the world. Its steel built railroads across the country, U.S. tanks and ships in World War II, and just about everything else from cars to orange juice cans to the Golden Gate Bridge. The story of Sparrows Point is the story of capitalism, labor unions, race, gender, civil rights, pride, and hubris. Like all civilizations, this one had a rise and a fall. We thought we were invincible. We thought Maryland couldn't survive without Bethlehem Steel. And that was a fantasy. Bethlehem Steel closed down because they owed the retirees $15 million. They shut the doors on a Friday and said, don't come in no more. Don't come in Monday. And as of Monday, you have no benefits. You know, we had people that committed suicide. It just went into a liquidation. They started tearing the plant down. And if you drive by there today, you'd never even know a steel mill ever existed. When I think of Bethlehem Steel, I think about the Roman Empire. And I think how industrial royalty became, well, right now it's dust. So what happened? Why? And what can we learn from the ghost of this industrial giant? Sparrows Point, an American steel story. Stay tuned for this six-part podcast from WYPR and the Baltimore Museum of Industry. Coming soon.